Skull Kaini here. In this video, let's continue with some more calculations with gas laws. And here are some simple steps as you know. Number one, you list all the given values. Then you check the units. Keep in mind, temperature must be in Kelvin and the pressure and volume must be in same units. Then you select the equation, plug and check, calculate and there we go, we can get the answer. So in this question, we have all these values given to us. And of course, there is some extra information given. Let's start listing what is given. Okay, the first one comes first. So volume of 17.3 centimeter cube that I'm going to write down as the first volume. To 24.5, that must be V2. And I don't need to worry about the units for volume because they seem to be exactly the same. Let's move on. At the expanded volume, keep in mind, out of 17.3 and 24.5, the expanded volume must be the bigger one. So we are looking on this side. So the under expanded volume manometer was used and found to have a pressure of 99.3. So that must be P2 value and that's in kilopascal. So we have to find out what is the original pressure of the gas. Now look what's asked. It's asking you to find out the pressure in millimeter of mercury not in kilopascal. So we got some conflicting situation there because we need to make sure the units are same. How about temperature? Temperature and amount is constant. So you can just put that both T1, T2 are equal to T. They are same values. Let's get the equation. That is P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. And the temperature is cancelled because that's same. But now we need to make sure that we are converting that pressure in same units. So since we want the answer in millimeter of mercury, let's convert what is given to us in millimeters of mercury. So I am going to have my road map going from kilopascal to millimeter of mercury. That means over here I must have kilopascal. And then what do we know about that? We know 101.33 kilopascal will be equal to 760 millimeter of mercury. Using those values, what do we get pressure? The pressure comes out to be 744.77 millimeters of mercury. Okay. Now we are going to use that value and plug in our formula. So what we have is the first pressure which is uh, going to be unknown for us. So it's P1 times the volume which is 17.3 and that is equal to pressure P2 which is 744.77 and then the next volume which is 24.5 and when we solve for P1 what do we get? P1 comes out to be 1050 millimeter of mercury okay alrighty it's only keep in mind we need 3 set fig that's why we rounded that up to 1050 okay here is another problem and those are the given values. Along with that, it also talks about STP conditions. STP stands for standard pressure and temperature. So let's list first of all the values given to us. It says what is the volume in liters of an 8.9 liter sample. So whichever volume come first, I'm going to write down that as 8.9 liters. Of a gas at 100 degree, temperature must be 100 degrees. Remember it's Celsius. So I can add 273 
to make sure I get the answer in Kelvin, which is 373 Kelvin. And then uh, the pressure is 113 kilopascal. So the conditions are now changed to SDP. We need to find out second volume, which we have for SDP. The temperature is 0 degrees Celsius or when we add 273, it is 273 Kelvin. And pressure is 1 atmosphere or if you know, remember, if you have to convert that into kilopascal, the equation tells you it's 101.33 kilopascal. And once we find out, it's simply plug and check with the formula. Remember again, the number of moles we are going to consider, they are same. So when we plug those values, pressure P1 is 113 times the volume is 8.90 divided by the, make sure you put the temperature in Kelvin, 373 and over here, pressure is 101.33, volume is unknown, you can put that V2 or you can use X and divide it by 273. When we solve for this, volume V2 is equal to 7.26 liters. And which law we are using? We are using combined gas law. Okay, in this problem, look at the first wording. It says it's a rigid container which indicates the volume for that gas is constant. It is same. Okay, let's circle the givens and start listing up. So, that's pressure, P1, V1, T1. It says the first pressure is 800 torr and then the pressure goes to 11 psi. Did you realize the units are different? That will not work for gas law. So we need to convert some unit into other. And I always like to begin with the first one. So when we convert torr to the psi, what do we get? We know it's 762 and equal to 14.7 psi. So when we solve that, we get the answer 15.47. Okay. So instead of using that 800 now, you will be using the new value which is 15.47 psi. Okay. Volume is going to be same so I can put V1 and V2 both equal to V. That will be exactly the same value. And now what does it say about temperature? It says at the lower pressure the temperature is 40 degree. Out of 11 and 15.47 the lower is 11. So at 11 the temperature is found to be 40 degrees. Again keep in mind that Celsius so it will be plus 273 to get to Kelvin and which is 313 Kelvin. We need to find out the temperature first and then we have to find out how much temperature is going to drop from the value which we are getting 313 Kelvin. So let's write down the equation. It's P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. Volume is same. So let's cancel that and then let's plug the values. Make sure you are plugging in the new value for pressure. So it's 15.47 divided by temperature T1 which is unknown and that is equal to 11 divided by 313. So when we solve for temperature T1, we end up getting the answer 440 Kelvin. Now keep in mind that is T1. What we need to find out is how much the temperature dropped down from 313 Kelvin. So that delta T, the change, will be 
313 minus 440 and that will be equal to negative 127 Kelvin. So what do you think? That wasn't that difficult, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.